On Monday, September 18, 2017, Nigerians witnessed the actual implementation of the saying by the President that the peace and unity of the country is not negotiable. This was exemplified by the solidarity visit to the Southeast Governors Meeting in Enugu that the governors will visit one another to show unity. The visit was led by the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum, Shetima Kashim, alongside Simon Lalong of Plateau, Abubakar Sani of Niger State, and Aminu Abubakar of Sokoto. Others are, however, Aminu Masari of Katina State and Governor Atiku Bello of Kevi State. In his speech, the chairman Northern Governors Forum, Shetima Kashiri, commended Governor Okeze Ibazo for saving the country from yet another civil war by his timely imposition of a dusk-to-dawn curfew. Stressing on the importance of the visit, a panel of discussants on MCL-TV News and Current Affairs program Good Morning Abia described the visit by the Northern Governors as timely. I think the visit by the Governors for me is a, is a beautiful thing uh, because uh, it, 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 I've always said it and that has been my uh, position that I, I look forward to the when Abia will go into uh, an understanding, cooperation, and an economic uh, link with Sokoto, KB Borono. You, 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 this idea of uh, always being clannish, always being parochial in thinking, I've always condemned it. So the governor's visit has simply shown that uh, uh, Nigeria is one, Nigeria is. Uh, the demand from Sokoto, there is no difference between the man living in Sokoto and the man living in other states. It's people who were elected into government, people who are supposed to be leaders both constitutional and uh, uh, security wise. Once we entrusted the care of our welfare, our security, our liberty, into the hands of these governments, which may allow them to do their job. To ensure a lasting peace and unity in the Southeast, especially in Aba and Abia State in general, the discussants stressed the need to de emphasize on all forms of activities capable of heating up the polity. That visit has been also going on, that even not by the political leadership, because uh, Three days ago I was in Aria yeah, and uh, there was an uproar, a noise sort of, a joyful noise. And uh, drawing very closer, it was an uh, emotional situation. I saw so many people weeping, clapping their hands and singing. And I tried to inquire, I found out that uh, a trader from Bruno State visited. The, you need to be there to see the rousing welcome. You need to see that the people are not interested in what the political leadership is trying to do to we common Nigerians. I also moved uh, around mosque and I also saw these things. And I think that is where the media need to get down to the grassroots. This is what I call grassroots support, grassroots love, grassroots, you know, integration. And so the, the, the political leadership coming in now is just to cement what has been, you know, the underlying love in this country called Nigeria. So I think it is very good. Some of the things that uh, were being said now is the things that begin to agitate the minds of some people on the, their intentions for coming. Because... Uh, the, the dichotomy between the north and the south is as old as Nigeria, beginning from independence. For a continued peaceful atmosphere, it is important and pertinent that the southeast, with their northern counterparts, will do everything within their capacity to extend the goodwill of the visit to their entire citizenry. Cynthia Echeme, MCL News.